Hi, welcome back to another workout with me. Today, we're gonna be focusing on the legs and the core. We wanna get those abs ready for the workout, but we also wanna work those quads, the hamstrings, the glutes, and open up those hips to have the best workout and perform at our very best. It's always important to be ready for the workout. Warming up your legs calls for some good music when moving your body. These butt kicks get my hamstrings and glutes awake with a smile on my face for those extra gains. You can do these in a spot. I like to move. My calves are always making an appearance too. Let's go. High knees marching are good for the quads, but also to get into that workout mindset. You know I love my dynamic movements. This is good for those of you who don't like jumping exercises. Burpees have a unique name for a reason. They make you burp. Bodyweight squats have always been a part of my warm up. There are many different ways to squat. Wherever you feel most comfortable will be how you should squat. I'm confused as to why bodyweight exercises are often overlooked. They are so beneficial and can be done literally anywhere. Give bodyweight exercises a chance. Hip thrusts get your glutes ready. When we sit for long periods of time, our glutes and hips can get tight. We need to release this tension. This will improve our performance in strength and endurance. Plus, I feel like some people forget to train the glutes and hips area. If you play any sports or are active outdoors, this exercise is beneficial in restoring mobility and encouraging some flexibility to come back. This will help prevent lower back pain, as your lower back muscles are connected to your glute muscles. Which is why I always recommend to stretch and sing a song. I'm joking, just stretch. Plank dips are one of my favorite core exercises. This way, not only are you working the abs, but also those obliques on the sides of your torso. Any twisting motion will work on those love handles. Time does slow down when doing the exercise, so find ways you can clear your mind or get distracted. This way, you'll be able to overcome the mental challenges of time. The reason many people don't like planks or ab exercises is because they focus too much on that time. Do what you can and go from there. If you can only do 10 seconds, that's amazing. Next time, try 15 seconds, then 20 seconds. Keep improving every time you work out. Try doing mountain climbers slow while getting your knees in between your hands. This will activate the core again, but also the legs all over. If both core exercises are too much for you, just do one or even try leg raises. What I like about this exercise is it tests my body weight. Bent leg raises are great for those who are still trying to tone their abs and are not a fan of this one. Side to side steps with knees bent. I feel like a linebacker playing football again. This works the adductors and abductors, but you will also experience your quads telling you, hey, wait, what are you doing right now? Warming up this way makes the workout more enjoyable as your body is ready to go. Some of these exercises you may do or leave for another workout. You can choose half of these exercises for one leg day and do the other half on another legs workout. Just remember the point is to warm up, not become exhausted. Single high knees for each leg, then alternate. Building explosive power in your legs is important. Simple as that. When you do a squat, once you get to the bottom, you need to get up. With this exercise, it makes me feel like my leg is so heavy. That's normal, and it's actually called strengthening those hips. Remember, train your hip exercises. Listen to this, you ready? Your hips are what your leg days rely on. Ah, hip abductions, alternating. Imagine this, you're moving your leg over a small step, then switch legs. Do this over and over to have more comfort in your legs when squatting and to also have your legs thank you. Believe it or not, I got a letter in the mail for my leg gains. It said, thank you so much, Anthony, for training your legs two times a week, but most importantly, warming up before those sessions. Front leg swings are just fun. That's the only reason I do them. 
I'm kidding. It's like a soccer kick in a way. We're focused on that movement, right? You want to have your legs ready to run before a workout. If they're already tight and sore, it's gonna be tough. Now, I'm not gonna tell you that warming up and stretching will take that away. We're human and we'll still experience that. However, it will be significantly less and your performance should improve. Think about your injury prevention as well. If your legs are asleep, it'll be a scene out of a horror movie when you go to work out. Side to side leg swings are similar, but the inside and outside of the legs are getting trained. If it's difficult, try knees bent and move just halfway. The biggest takeaway from this video I want for you is... Something is better than nothing. And to get your heart rate up, for my cardio people out there, I run for 10 to 15 minutes, then do this. You can do any cardio and this warm up. You are now ready to go work out your legs. Click on this video or this video to keep watching.